Welcome to Short Scale Modeling. This is part two of the FX Arvo Vulcan B2 Scale 1 to 32. In part one, I went through the kit and um, showed you what was in the box and detailed my plan for the Vulcan. So, this is technically part two. Um, in this part, I'm going to start the build. Um, I'm looking at the instructions, I'm starting off with the cockpit. So, I've got the first sprue here, and I'm going to be mostly using Humbro paints as well. Um, the reason for using Humbro paints, I do like Humbro paints. Um, my go-to are generally Ravel paints, but sometimes I'll use Humbro, and I and I, and I like using Humbro uh, while using the FX kits, just because of the colour matches. But saying that, there'll be some colours that they can refer to that I'll change. For instance, um, the on panel one here. The, they are asking for 85 black, and now 85 black is a cold black, it's like a shiny black. Um, after looking at some pictures, um, the the mainframe is going to be 241, which is RLM, so, so it's a railway color, color. and the um, side um, struts and bulkheads and so forth is um, going to be 87, which is a steel grey color. The reason why I've done that is just uh, through uh, looking at photographs and, and things like that. So as you can see, I've already primed the sprues. I've primed all the sprues, so I'm ready to go. I'm starting to paint. I'm starting off painting the cockpit, and this is RLM 70, which is a dark grey. So just like quotes, you you'll see this um, technique I use throughout the build. This circular motion. And the instrument panel is going to be the same colour. And because I'm displaying this with half of it open, I'm having to make sure that I paint both sides. So I'm using the secondary colour now. And this is 87 steel grey. And these, this colour I'm using for the uh, bulkheads inside the cockpit. So I'm cutting all laying down this um, Humbro 87 steel grey. So I'm just working on the seats now, but the bulkheads have been done and I'll just carry on with this uh, colour around the sprue. So the first part of the construction is the um, instrument panel. The reason why I'm doing this now is um, there's, there's a decal that goes on. So these just slot in, a little bit small as you can imagine. Well as you can see now imagine. But there's a nice location point for these for them just to slot in. I would imagine these are the control states. I, I will paint the handles of these. But I won't do that until I put on the decal. I'm also placing on the central control panel. Again, this is because we need decal, so I'm just getting them all prepared. So this is the instrument panel, the side control panels and the central column. So I'm putting the side instrument panel on first, so warm water and the micro salt for the decal solution. And the instrument panel. And lastly, the central control. Now to build the cockpit properly, the decals are almost well dry now. It's been about an hour or so. I'm going to be weathering as I go along, so I'm using Tamiya's Weathering Master C and the gunmetal component. And I use this just to highlight raised areas. So it doesn't take much at all, just a little bit under-raised areas. Doesn't matter if it's not even, or you go off slightly. It will add it act as a shadow and define the detail. I'm doing the side with the back. Now generally you wouldn't see these. But again, because I'm opening it up. 
you want to see parts of this so I'm not sure which parts you'll see hence why I'm doing it now and the two location points just there slide them in position it'll be the same for that one so I'm just waiting for this to, to set and dry I'm going to paint the grips on the control stick so this is 85 coal black and I'm just painting the grip itself nothing more now in the aircraft these, these are probably grey um, so it's not going to be 100% authentic I never go for 100% authentic anyway I will do what looks better for me so once more I'm using Brother Marston C and the gun metal these are the foot pedals and I'm just going over them with the gun metal to give them a metallic look a metal look just placing on the foot pedals now and these are the location pins fit into these this area here and it butts up against the central control panel and there's a little recess all in there for it to slot into and now the first bulk bulkhead I've already uh, weathered um, the lines the, the panel lines up and this just fits into the um, slots here Also, as I'm going along, I should say as well, I'm, I'm repainting any contact points. So, for instance, that there all needs repainting, because that's just the bare plastic. And then, once that's on, it's the time for the control panel, or instrument panel. And that goes on this little sloping triangular part to conform with the actual bracket there. And it should just push on, I've already dry fed it so that's up there so just putting the seats together this is the outer case and all of the seat first of all it just simply goes together it's got the location point for you to guide in which I'm having difficulty with for some reason so I'm putting these the outer part of the seat in RLL 70 Going on to the main seat, and the main colour here is, is 26 khaki. This is a uh, 62 leather, and it's just um, with a little cushion on the armrest. For the seat pad, I'm using 24 train trainer yellow, and this is just a light coat. I actually want the leather to show through a bit, just to show a little bit of wear and tear. For the harness, it's a 94 brown yellow. For the seat harness, it's 25 blue. Why it's blue, I'm not sure. But that's the colour it's calling for, so that's the colour I'll, I'll put down. And the headrest is 103 cream. And for the buckles, it's all of them silver. Oh, just tiny amounts that you need. It's just a case now fitting in the seat into the chair. That just pushes in. So that's it done. And to put the, the seats in now, they just go in these little recess holes. Do one of the ladders here. And the outskirts of it is 154 signature and signature yellow. There's a couple of little uh, fire extinguishers things here, and this is um, 60 scarlet red. So I'm just placing in the side control panels and I just hook into these little recess points here, and so on the other side. And split them on these two little files, which they go right at the back of the seat, it's like an angle. 
and then the, the ladder. So something goes on the first front and it just hooks in to, in between the first I'm sure. So for the box it's the main colour is 78, called bit green and that'll be all three see. So I'm using two four one black green and uh, this is the back um part of the cockpit sensor panel so it's just the the wall I'm putting in a, the uh, basic dark colour first. So this is 237 Desert Tan, a little rolled up blanket thing, and it's the same colour for the top of the seams. And for the cushion it's 62 leather. You have to assemble the legs for this and it slides in between the, the chair, this little panel. So it just sits like that. So I've got a series of decals here that I've taken from my spare decal box and I'm going to be using them for this. Now this is the instrument panel uh, for the side or the back of the cockpit. Now generally you don't get to see this in the model, um, only glimpses of it. But because I'm over, having it opened up you, you're probably going to see this instrument panel. So I want a bit of detail in there. Now also airfix don't supply any of it because it's generally closed up. So but I'm going to put the decals in. So these are just random decals in my spare box that look like instrument panels. The majority of them actually are from the Nimrod model kit from Airfix. So they're they're sort of within keeping. So I'll just uh, quickly put these on fast forward in this part as you can see. I'm not putting these on any particular um, pattern either. I'm, I'm just putting them on where I think um, they'll be visible and they may look good. I mean, there's no way this is accurate. It's uh, completely made up. If you look at the photos of, of the Vulcan, you, you'll, you'll see it's deep blacks and things like that on the control panels. So this is just more stylized than anything else. So that's it, it's not brilliant, but it'll do. So I'm just assembling the last of the chairs. The little canvas part goes on from the mount. And to assemble the, I don't know, it's simple case, the location points are well defined. It's just a matter of pushing the chair on. One without the canvas goes in the middle. And then the last one. And then the it's of panel bulkhead. And two slots there to that corresponds to that. Well this will bring part two to a close uh, since I put this uh, last bulkhead on. There's still a little bit more to do in the cockpit but I'll be covering that in part three as well as making a start on the airframe. Now the airframe will be um, going alongside this air uh, cockpit uh, capsule uh, then join into the fuselage. If you haven't done so already, why don't you check out the channel? Um, have a look at the introduction to this uh, build that I'm doing to give you a better idea what the plan is. Or indeed, have a look at uh, my other videos in the channel. If you subscribe to the channel, you'll be notified of my uh, future updates, including for this build. Hit that like button, and of course, leave a comment. But for now, thank you all very much for watching. Bye bye.